Hello, welcome back to episode 33 of Modern Days. Um, today, well, this week's question uh, for our players is, um, who's been your favourite NPC so far? This was a question submitted by Andy, um, because I couldn't be bothered to think of one. <laughs> so uh, I, I'll start with Andy, seeing as he gave us the question. Okay, uh, hello, I'm Andy, I play um, Baron, one of the uh, paladins. Um, and this is actually, I would say, is um, Beren's um, uh, favourite NPC so far. It's certainly the most intriguing NPC for him so far is Andy Powell, um, also known as uh, Andresti, who appears or claims to be some form of Iceni goddess and seems to know things about um, uh, Beren and the uh, god that he worships and an amulet that he wears, which is the holy symbol of his god and various other bits and pieces. And um, uh, I am keen to find out more. And sorry, uh, he is keen to find out more as well. That's nice. me. Love it. Um, I'm going to go uh, Tom next. Hi, I'm Tom. I play uh, Raffi Matthews. Um, Favourite MC is, unsurprisingly, uh, Raffi's partner, Ash, who is just not only uh, fabulous, but is a fabulous character, and has got a load of layers that uh, we have yet to un uncover. Nice. Awesome. Um, uh, ben, are you there, Ben? Come in, Ben. I'm here. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I I'm Ben and I play Hendrix occasionally, and um, I think Hendrix's favourite uh, character so far has been uh, Lord Renwick because he had a uh, rather a large supply of sausages, and Lord Renwick is also Ben's favourite character because I enjoy hearing B do the voice, do the voice, do the voice, <laughs> do the voice, do the roar. Yes, well, thank you very much, Hendrix. Um, I, lo I love that you're you're still thinking with your character's mind and stomach uh, when you're thinking of your favourite NPC. That's amazing. Uh, true dedication to the character. Um, Ken. Did you say Ken? I did. Uh, okay. Uh I think uh, hi everybody. I'm Ken. I play Liam, the the uh, best druid. Awesome, best druid. He's a ranger. <laughs> He's a druid. Uh, it says ranger on the screen. <laughs> yes. It says bovril on buses, but they don't sell it, as my nan used to say. So there you go. <laughs> Sorry, what's your wow. nan used to say? It says Bovril on buses, but they don't sell it. I.e., there's adverts okay. for Bovril, but they don't sell it. So there you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, 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 it's great. It's great, isn't it? Nan's great. Yeah. Uh, I think it's it, it's got to be Dusk because it's the only NPC he likes or c comes yeah. close close to actually actually liking. I like Dusk too. Um, Ian. Actually, since the start. No, you haven't. No. Hi, I'm Ian. I play uh, Dell Knight. <laughs> I play Dell Knight, the uh, the blade singer. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.
seems quite interesting yeah. and mysterious. Well, yeah, I liked her too, actually. But Cabman, Cabman seems to like everyone. Yeah. He's quite interest, <laughs> like, intrigued in do. Dusk's um, character. he would like to know a bit more about the little grim fairy. Nice. And obviously Lucy has to have, hold number one spot, otherwise he'll be in trouble. Yeah, I was about to say, where's Lucy in all of this? Huh? Well, I don't know, old friends. We've already forgotten about her. All right, thanks. Um, and previously on Modern Days, um, our party had made their way into the Crimson Serpents, um, one of their hideouts, it seems. Uh, there was a fork in the road and our players decided to go left because you always go left. Um, oh, and uh, you came across a uh, security door, which didn't take too much of uh, lockpicking skills for Hendrix to move past that. A little bit of dispel magic to stop the magical effect that was just behind the door. <laughs> and you came in silently. Um, going through one of the, um, I'd say living spaces of this underground, uh, hideout, um, you've encountered two vampires, uh, which you dispatched with ease, um, and moved into the, well, one, one of the vampires charmed Raffi <laughs> to let him pass. Um, and hilarious. so made it into nice the next person. room. He was so nice. So nice. That, was, that um, was hilarious. That was, that was a very good moment. So far. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's just a swell guy, and he just needed to get past you if you didn't mind. Um, yeah, and obviously exactly. This yeah, one we so gave to The one you kept cut to pieces afterwards, but obviously he then had opportunity to get inside that room, pre-warn the people that were in it, uh, so they could finish what they were doing. Um, too sweet. Had he not got into that room, you don't know. You might have been there a little bit, little bit sooner to stop things. But um, you're in this room now. You've taken out that one very charming vampire. Um, you are left in a face-off with. Uh, oh, just to describe very quickly because it's important. When you came into the room, um, Ozzy, or at least. Uh, the flesh suit that is Ozzy being piloted by some Efreet, um, uh instructed a young teenager who, I'd say on quick notice, um, you know, was quite pale in complexion. Um, Ozzy spoke a few words to them. And pushed them through the portal, a green shining, glimmering, almost uh, Stargate-esque type uh, veil uh, over this um, archway in the, the back of this room. Um, the teen went through and Ozzy gave the instruction for this vampire, if you're currently on the page, um, the one I'm pinging, to end what they were doing which they did on their turn. Oh, they didn't need to do it on their turn, actually. It was no no action needed. They ended it, and that is no longer glowing now. So there is no veil there anymore. Um, you guys then piled in, took care of this other vampire. Ozzy is there. He's got his uh, spectral arms out it with these long, black, wispy, smoking arms and claws attached to his actual arms. Um, making quite a few uh, per round. This vampire seems to be um, surrounded by blue flame and uh, is firing shots uh, at a distance to you guys. That was the other thing I needed to do. I just realised. I'll get to it in a minute. Um, and then Hendrix. So that's where you guys are. Hendrix, you were down here at the start of this little um, investigation into this area. Your friends went down this. Oh, sorry. Why is that? 
that's weird. Um, your friends went down this corridor. Okay. Uh, which led to... So you can probably see that they had gone out of, uh, into this room. However, during the few rounds that they've been away and there was fighting happening, mm -hmm. you have also heard, although this door is locked in... This door is locked in front of you. Um, there is a sound of there was a sound of footsteps, um, and the scraping of a key. Um, your finely tuned senses can have picked up that much. Um, if you scraping want of a key to going into a lock, into a lock, but not this door. So a oh. door beyond that one if that makes sense to you. Um, sure. th this one seems to be a further security door. Um, but there seems to be something happening here. Uh, the noise of battle seems to be coming, obviously, through all, all around you, really. Uh, you feel like if you went th through this way, this will also lead you to where the combat is happening. Kind of all loops. Okay. Around. Okay. So um, I will give you a round's worth of movement before we start off at the top of the round. So no actions, just movement. If you wanted to be in position anywhere as uh, as you were away last um, okay. last week. So you don't have uh, to move, but if you wish to, then uh, you can. Are you allowing him to use his, ac his action and bonus action for extra movement? No. Okay. Oh, um... I will allow a bonus action movement, but only with movement, uh, but not an action, because the action would be listening out. That would be him listening and perceiving, which I've already given him the information for. So, uh, yeah. Do you want to move? Uh, do I want to move? I don't know. It's nice and safe here, isn't it? Um... Is it? Coward. <laughs> yeah, are you all on your own? Um, There's nobody around you. I am on my yeah. It's just, it's just kind of a scooby do thing, isn't it? Do I do I go where it's dangerous, or do I stay on my own? Which is is not also not good. This um oh no, I can't. No. Um, you said can't I can't do anything, but do any obviously actions, you can't. In the in the round, you're you're after Baron, which is so it will be Baron now, and then you afterwards. So think about what it is that you want to do. Uh, but yeah. I was just giving you the opportunity to get closer. So if you're happy okay. with where you are now, we'll move on to Baron. Yep. And let's um have a look. Uh, so starting from the top. Top ish, technically, I think Daryl's at the uh, Rafi's at the top. Uh, we had to stop midway through this. Yeah, um, we do thing now. Um, Raffi, sure go. Did Rafi right? What happened in the at the, the, the last couple of actions? Did Rafi actually attack this um, this guy? That we're looking yes, for? I have been um, beating on Ozzy. Oh. You've been beating on Ozzy, and did Ozzy attack yeah. you back? I. I don't think he's had a chance to yet. He has. He was immediately after you. Oh, oh no, no, he's not. He no, he's not. He's, he's not. coming not. up. He's, he's up. coming up. Sorry, I've got the wrong yeah, icon. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, um, I am going to move to there. So okay. I've got flanking bonus. Uh, yep. And then I'm going to absolutely wail on um, Aussie with my sword. Go for it. Yeah. So, With my sword. Right. Uh, now, this Soon will be an advantage, won't it, from flanking? Yeah. yeah. Just a um, quick question. Can I, can I and out of. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on a minute. Just a quick out of uh, 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 actions uh, uh, question to Ian. Um, was uh, Remy with you? Was he out? I know that he's on there now, but is that something that you wanted to? It's absolutely fine if you do, but I just want to clarify yes. if you wanted him there or not. Yes, I okay. wanted him there. I can't remember if I had said before that I thought I had brought him out, but obviously had because his catch. I can't actually. remember, but obviously it's up to you whether you wanted him out or not. It's yeah, just making sure that that's yep. yeah. Um, sorry, 
Tom, what was uh, what was your question? Uh, I was there wasn't a question. I was actually gonna say uh can I can I shout a few a couple of words to uh Baron yep. as he's gone round and yeah, yeah. alive, keep him alive. Okay. okay. And that's it. Because you, you was... know <laughs> who Ozzy is in regards to um, in regards to me. So. I shall take that on board but then appear to completely ignore it. Okay. I love it. Did that Your count? suggestion has been taken under advisement. Yes. So is 28 yeah. a hit? Uh, I can think so, yeah, probably. Right. Uh, but yes. I'm then going to drop Jeez. a divine smite into it. Jesus. Keep him alive. Shoot to kill, shoot to kill. <laughs> well, he's, his, <laughs> bar's looking very, his bar's looking very full, isn't it? That looks empty to me. I love it. And he's looking relatively healthy at the minute. And you wailed on him, so I'm look. Uh, I'm I'm assuming that. I don't think I hit. I don't think I hit that many okay. times though. Uh, I'm going to put a second level divine spite into it. Go for it. So, I've got. Did that? It's not rolling the. I thought if I clicked on the the stormblade thing in the thing, it rolls the damage. You should do. It? Maybe it's just um, it taking a time. Doing. Right, no. okay. Well, that's no good. So, my damage is 1d8 plus 6. So, let's just do it and roll 20. Do you want me to press it? I just want to check, yeah, make gone. sure it's just not... Gone, yeah. No, didn't do it. I guess it's not doing it anymore. Um, my, I got so... a little pop-up message that I needed to reconnect to... D &D We've got features, and tra features and traits what? in D&D &D Beyond. But I already yeah, did that all... last time. You have to do it each session. Oh, do you? Every time you... Yes. Use, ah. If you go yeah. away for, from the page, you have to go do it when you come back. Yeah. Right, okay. I'll do that in a sec but when it's not my turn. But so, that's... Uh, what was it? 1d8 plus 6. So that is 11. Yeah. And then doing a third level... Oh, sorry, second level Divine Smite. So eleven regular damage was that? Uh, eleven uh, slashing. It will be with a broadsword. Yeah, magical fine, slashing. Yep. Magical, yeah. Magical slashing. It's, a, it's, yep. it's a normal. And then thing, divine yeah. smite. Yep. Uh, it's a normal magical sword. Two d eight basic, plus a d eight, plus. Um, He's not undead. But yep. he is a fiend. So I get an extra D8 for that. So I do 4D8. Gotcha. Thank you, Dave. I start to sound like Tom's bamboozling. I was just thinking. I was just about to <laughs> say exactly the same. He went to the Tom School of oh, Damage. And, and I should I should have done an, oh, extra, and... an extra 1D8 oh, ra oh. I should have done an extra 1D8 uh, radiant. Oh, yeah, for your radiant. Here, here, here we go. Yes, here right. we yeah. go. Here we yeah. go. I'm so proud. Yep. It's all so tough. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> 18 radiant. Okay. He hasn't tried blagging right. another extra D20 or something. You told so, he knows. Uh, right. Okay. And then... Um... You, um, as you're hitting him with this attack, uh, with the extra radiant damage and, and uh, that you're doing to him, you can see that... Um, like it was in Renwick's place, uh, the smoky spectral arms uh, that make up most of the his attacks are starting to like. All, it's almost like the radiant straight through it. Um, it reforms very quickly, but it's diminishing a lot easier with radiant damage. Okay. You're definitely doing more damage. Okay. Um, I will then attack a second time. Go for it. Do the thing I believe in you. Now, interesting, because I've done it once, it now won't let me do roll at advantage. So that's that's my first roll, and um, yeah, I mean that still hits, but roll for that crit. A thirty definitely hits. I yeah. am just <laughs> criticals on twenty. Uh, so um, I will drop. Um, another second level divine smite in there. Okay. Um, 
as a note, I mean, not that we're there yet, but um, magical damage cannot be uh, subdual damage. So if you're planning at the end of these strikes to make the last hit to be just subdual damage rather than lethal, so non-lethal damage, you can't do it magically. Okay. You have to do it with regular I'm not overly damage. concerned with that at the present moment. I have taken That's fair. I have taken Rafi's um uh comment on, on advisement. Yep. Absolutely. Just just letting you know from a meta perspective. Right. It's still the, not what your characters damage. would know. So right. Uh so it's um a total of uh, uh hmm. a whole one seven. Seven points of slashing damage and then a total of five D eight radiant. Which is 26 radiant. Someone's got something playing in the background. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, Ken. I didn't even mean to uh, get yeah. anything up. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm, I actually have my calculator here out just to to do the maths on this. Is crazy. There you go. Jeez, okay. you bamboozled her that much that she said get a calculator out. Yep, well, hey. Um, and that is... Um, that's me finished. All right. Um, Hendrix, down here in the dark all by your lonesome. I know. What do you want Scary. to do? On my own. Yeah. Um... Yeah. So You're not really now by I'm over near that. That's actually more scary. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, B. There is one more thing I want to do actually. Yeah, go because I reckon because yeah, I, I reckon Cadman's coming in to join in. So I'm actually going to okay. move over to this corner so that it, <laughs> you cheeky butt. Okay. so that he yeah. can so that he can flank. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. Go sorry. on then, um, Hendrix. Sorry, 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 Ben. That's all right. All right. Um, so am I over near this? This other locked door thing now, then. Um, yep. Can I, uh, like, see or smell anything underneath it? Uh, make me a perception check. Uh, do so with advantage if it's senses. I think it's smell or hearing, so I can give you answers based on those. Yup. That would do. Is it a nat 20? I don't know what it yeah. is. Yeah. It's a nat 20. <laughs> it hasn't come through yet. Oh, Jesus, there it is. There you go. I mean, the other one was a 19. So like, yeah, it's and, sort of overkill. I'll be rolling ones yeah. and twos for now. For everything else. Uh, so you stop to... And you have that kind of... Um, stillness uh that dogs get when they're really paying attention to something um and sort of like hunch down low bottom of this door kind of has that little gap that you can just hear and smell things through um mm -hmm. you catch um soft breezes of movement so there is some movement on the other side of this door uh perhaps not super close to the door but definitely um up it you get the idea from the sounds of footsteps um and in the way they somewhat echo that it's more like a corridor beyond this door um and there is the sound of children um perhaps in the chamber beyond this corridor um and the that they sound panicked, um, though trying to stay quiet. Um, okay. in the way that that I say children, but teenagers, the the ones that have kind of gone missing. Yeah. Um. Uh. There is a more calmer voice that is not that much older. You'd say maybe the same age as them, but seems to be speaking authoritatively, decisively, and is telling them, shut up, be quiet. Um, and then just the sounds of some movements. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Just because I, 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 I missed what 
was, went on in the previous thing. Is there a clear run behind us back out the way we came? Um, yes. So previous event, uh, the previous event, previous session, uh, you guys came through this door. This, uh, this was a doorway. Um, the caverns that you'd gone through, the um, underground mm-hmm. tunnels, had led to this point. Um, there was, uh, I think the last session that you were with us, uh, you guys had stopped at like a, uh, an area we where found... there was a border patrol sort of thing. With yeah, vampire uh, the last thing I remember was um, Cadman's Wispy Willow yeah. type the... friend thing. The tanker of Bogus had kind of um, come to tell Cadman some stuff. Um, yeah. Or rather wasn't expected to see Cadman there at all, was actually following mm. uh, two humans, uh, as he put it. Um, but couldn't get past this point because there was vampires. Uh, you'd moved on from that point and got to a fork in the road. So yeah. you'd gone down gone the left. left fork. So there is a right fork that also, as Liam had pointed out, got vampires through it so although the way back could be clear you could still could encounter other vampires sure. because of yeah all right okay so technically a clear path but yeah just to have a awareness of that okay grand um is this uh door pickable it is pickable can i pick it B, I don't know if you've mentioned this no. to Ben yet. Sorry. I <laughs> yes. Was, um, yeah, go on. But he would he would be aware that there's a passageway this way or something, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. You can... You can... Oh, why does he keep doing that? You can go this way as well, uh, Ben. But uh, And mm-hmm. I think I pointed out at the beginning that... that the, the noise of went up that way, combat you, came... The noise of battle, yeah, kind of goes up that yeah. way as so well. Either so way, you're going to end up in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah basically so uh but yes this door is pickable okay uh i'm gonna pick it do the pick pick lots i believe it's a dexterity with a um dexterity check with proficiency okay It's weird that they don't ever put like um there you go. And then you add plus your proficiency. I mean it doesn't matter, it's fucking not twenty. What is with you? I don't know. Oh my god. It's, it's gonna be like this on he's hacked his computer. <laughs> if I could, I would. Oh no. Alright, yep, yeah, no it um easy as pie. You don't even need to make a stealth check. Um it's so soft uh that you you almost don't realise that it was locked. It was like, was this even locked in the first place? You'll yeah. never know. So, um, at your uh, leisure, free object um, interaction. That was your action to do that, though. Uh, unless yeah. it's a bonus action for you. I, I don't know. I um, don't believe so. But yeah. Uh, but you can open this door as a free, okay. free action. Uh, just um, very, if you click um, on the gentlemen. Yeah, if you want to open the door, you can click on the door yourself, and it should come up with an option to open. Um, if not, okay. let me know, and I'll just do it for you. All I can re- I can't actually see a door. All I, all I can see is a oh. black thing. Oh, well, there you go. I've opened it for Fog you. Can you see it? Uh, nope. Better. Uh. Not so much. Does, does oh yeah, now I can. Does Hendrix okay, not yeah. have the ability to see in the dark? Uh, he sh- should do. Hang on, let me just check your token. Yeah, night vision's on. I think it's just Ben's computer. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> you, you, you can see now, though, can't you? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, so so you can make your movements yeah. from there. Uh, um, if you're going no, down here, no, no. um, and you want to be silent, obviously. Please make me a check. Uh, sure. Let's do that. Just 
stealth. That'd be the one. Oh, I'm slipping. Where's my net 20? But yeah, it's still mm -hmm. fine. We still haven't got it yet. We'll 29. tell you when it comes from Scotland. Is it 29? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I mean... But I only rolled a 15. So, no, you know. Nothing. Only. <laughs> yeah, go on. Do uh, you feel unseen or unheard? Ooh. And you may move uh, your movement. How far do I move? So you can move up to 40 foot or 50 foot, something like that. That's, what's that? It's 10. Is it 10? Yeah. Either way, you can just hear Ben talking to himself as he figures out how to play this game that we've been oh. playing for forever, years and years. Yeah, of course. Okay, so uh, I've come up to to there. Uh -huh. And there's... Okay, there is a person there. They have their to you, so uh, it looks like a, a, a sort of a Teen male, um, they, he has his back to you, um, but you can see. Uh, I don't know what you can see actually, because I can see everything. So I'm assuming you can probably see things further into this room. I can see some Under people tokens. further into the room as well. Were these the ones okay. who were whispering to be quiet and everything? So the person with his his back to you seems to be standing there in a authoritative manner. Um, they seem to be the one speaking quite harshly and giving them instructions. The rest seem to be about his age or younger, um, mm -hmm. and they look absolutely terrified of him. Of him? Of him, yeah. Okay. Is he, is he like, dead flesh, you know? Can I smell that he's a vampire? Or anything? Um, or is he... I think that... What was your perception? I mean, your perception check was bloody bonkers anyway. Uh, I say yes. You could definitely s say that uh, you your strong belief that he could be undead from the way he smells. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, but the others, probably not. Uh, yeah, as far as you can tell, because th that, that would require getting up close and personal with the rest of them. Um, a little bit more, but yeah. Uh, none of them seem to have spotted you either. Okay. Um, all right. I might just spend a little time kind of uh, listening to what, what it is that he's getting him to do. Okay. Um, I think you over... Uh, no, I mean, you don't even need to overhear. You're, you're right there. You're hearing him say... Um, uh, I think what he's telling them to do is getting uh, to one area. He's going to get them into one corner of the room. Um, and I think he's planning to... I don't think he knows what, he, what he's going to do. I think that he's panicking a little, but trying to play it off like he knows what he's doing. Um, uh, you get the idea that he's not super, super confident um yeah but he he wants to do something whilst he's hearing this battle go on uh he wants to take action and either sure. take these kids somewhere or maybe even just kill them or something yeah sure. okay all, all right. right yep is that your that's... go or did you want to do something i guess so yeah i don't um i don't think i've got anything so you've left, used your I've action to do the... i've done some actions yeah I don't oh, can think, I hide? That's a free action, isn't it? If I can action. Bonus well, action. Well, you've done the stealth anyway, so I'll, I'll count that as your your okay. hide check uh, because it's very high. Um, there's no point ruining that if if it's going to be lower. Um, and yeah, so you you're still hidden, although you're like you're kind of like standing in this guy's shadow, basically. Yeah. Um, against the wall because you're very small. All right, um, Liam. Um, you are just coming into this room. Mm. Ian's gone. It's ruined my thunder. I was going to say I'll, I'll shoot that demonic bird in front of me. Mm -hmm. I was in. Ian's yeah, shoot wasted. the owl. Wasted. Yeah. Wasted. Uh, okay, I'll move Do it. it. 
<laughs> okay, as you move into the room mm-hmm. and take a stock of your surroundings, um, this place hums of vampires. Um, it's just it. This is very clearly um, not a nest. You're get you're getting the vibe immediately that this isn't somewhere where they they regularly come to nest. Um, this is actually uh, they're using this place for a specific purpose, but it is absolutely crawling with other undead in here. Um, the woman in the circle, um, covered with blue flames, surrounded by blue flames, you recognise her. Um, this is somebody that you know from quite a while ago. Um, your first sort of parades into vampire hunting. Her name is Annalise. Um, that's all you know about her. I will put her name into the thingy. You don't know anything else um, about her? Uh, you know that she wasn't originally with the Crimson Serpents, which is why you didn't immediately think it of her. Um, so she's obviously now working with them or part of their leadership potentially because she's she's not not a uh, weak vampire. She's but she's not one of the strongest either. But she is well known for being uh, magically talented. Um, yeah. she uh, you have tried to hunt her a few times, but because of her abilities of being able to get away magically. Um, it's always been real difficult to pin her down. Um, at the moment, I think that's all you kind of that springs into your mind. Um, but yeah, you definitely kind of recognise her from vampire hunting days. Uh, you may take your turn now. Carry on. Um, you right? Hey. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, thinking. We will turn him, but the hamster's dead. The hamster died a long time ago. <laughs> there is no hamster. There never was. But there was. Uh. She's she's normal. She's escaped, hasn't she? Before. Yes. Always. Daryl's right beside me as well, isn't he? He's a wizard. Um, it's a massive wizard. <laughs> what a wizard! What a wizard! Um, I'm gonna. I think I'm just going to shoot her. Okay. That was a good, good step to start. I'm going to start definitely, off by definitely warranted. dropping a um, what's it called? The Slayer's Prey on her, I think. Yep. First. Go for it. Um, and then shoot her twice. I'll also want to. You only get six a short sentence, don't you? Do you are you actually sticking to six words, or is can it be just a no, I I said like, uh, in between on your go, I'll allow sort of like a decent sentence. Doesn't have to be super short, yeah. but just not a paragraph. Uh, and in between your rounds, so not on your round specifically, right. you can say a couple of words. Okay. As I'm shooting her, I'm gonna say to Daryl, I've met that one. Be- I've met that one before. She always gets away. She's a powerful wizard. Watch her. Perfect. Uh, and the slows prey on her, which gives me the extra d6 on the first tag. Let's try it and to shoot her. Shoot her, sir. Ooh, ah. Shoot him, sir. Is that hit? Oh. Uh, yes, I would think so. Definitely, it definitely does. And a bonus. <laughs> d6. Okay. Well, let's do this on the. Are you making more than one hit? Yeah. I'm yeah, well, it's just a decent. What the? F- oh, okay. I turn all this away in the thing, yeah. An extra D6 damage okay. on the first one, and a second shot to hit is. Yep, that also that. hits. And another. Uh, 
Yeah. And is there Slayer's Prey go on that one, or is no, that really it's, it's, it's only Hunter's marks every attack through. Those bros just a perfect okay. attack. Okie dokie. Yeah, she takes two uh, arrows that go straight through this fire, obviously unaffected, and uh, just hit her in the shoulder. Um, she she takes them uh, and she's like, ah, and she sort of um, recognises you and you see the uh, flicker of fear on her face. Um, she doesn't say anything, though, I don't think. Um, is that your go? That is my go. All right. It is now Ozzy's go. Um, Just quickly, do, do I know her... Yeah. Would I would I know by her age and what I what I know about her what her special abilities are would be for escaping for her uh, oh so you know she As uses in... her um, wizard abilities she so she rather than there's obviously the old vampire trick of you know turning into a misty and uh, has, has, the, is the she misty old enough for that is she old enough yes. to get that she, she is definitely she, she older does... old enough yeah to get she has the, that get the um, misty card okay. She, she has she's likely to be able to regenerate um yeah, yeah. you know that it takes fire or radiant um she can also i think you remember about her she's a shapeshifter as part of oh, her wow. vampire abilities she can shapeshift into, into creatures. a bat, bat, or, bat or a wolf bat, or is it anything wolf wolf that's uh wolf bat uh Reg, you know, certain animals along that line. It's never really just one, right? Okay. But it's not anything. It's like it's not any animal. Oh wants. no, it's not any animal. There is there is a CR rating, as it were. Uh, but there is um, uh, it seems to be regularly things like bats and wolves and maybe owls even. Yeah. Um, <gasps> oh my god, it's Remy all along. <laughs> Remy was a villain all it. along. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Ozzy's go. Um, Ozzy uh, looks to Raffi uh, and goes, uh, you're not playing nice. Um, and I think is going to... I'm not playing at all. Mm. Uh, I don't know whether... Because Baron's right there and he's taken a chunk out of him. I think he's going to split his attacks. I think because you're both within five foot, he's going to go for Rafi first. Oh, okay. wrong person. Um, and he's going to. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, does a twenty-two hit? Yes. Okay, you take. 30 psychic damage on the first hit. Okay. And then there is a... He really, like, this this swipe just rends through you and it just fucks up your brain. Um. Oh, sorry. What am I doing? Apologies. Uh... No, it's a, he, he He doesn't have advantage. I, I don't know why I was rolling that. Uh, he only hits you with one unless a 15 hits you. Does not. Does not. Okay. Um, yeah, so. And then the next two hits are on Baron. Baron uh, so, uh, does a 20. Uh, yeah. uh, how much damage did I take yeah. then? How much damage did I take before the one hit me? It was just 30. 30. Yeah, yeah. that's what okay. I said. So. Um, the uh it then turns to he then turns to uh Baron mm-hmm. and uh takes two swipes at him. He gets four attacks because he's got four arms. Um and does a twenty three hit? Yep, I'm twenty two at the moment with the uh I've got that spell up. Oh yeah, you've got this. Okay. Um that is twenty eight points of psychic damage. Mm-hmm. And that twenty. Oh, I'm in big trouble. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I wish it had added it all together for me. Uh, 
52 points of psychic damage in the second hit to you. Um, it, he kind of just grab this spectral fourth arm, the one that's sort of like underneath his right arm, comes out, grabs you by the face and is like searing this black uh, um, smoky things into your eyes, into your nose, into your ears. It's just pouring into you and then blood starts dripping down your uh, down from your forehead um, and he pushes you back a little bit. You don't actually fall back or anything like that, but just thematically uh, he pushes you backwards and grins um, uh just yeah there's uh beyond his mouth as well when he grins you can see a, sort of like between his teeth it's almost like just blackness it doesn't seem to be like a mouth or or throat uh and he turns his attention once again back to raffi um holding this smile at him um and i think Oh, he's not incorporeal. That's all he can do. Um, yeah, he's not going to move. Uh, he is going to move, actually. He's smart enough. Um, he's going to risk attack of opportunity, and he's going to move to there. Oh, you know, he's going to move to there. He's going to be in the corner, I think, to stop people flanking him. Thank you. I'll take the attack. So, hey, take a attack of opportunity. Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, that four. hits. And nine. I was spend his um, key points for stunning strike, yep. please. Uh, yep. Can you do that on reaction? Yeah. I believe... God, yeah, because it's it's he it doesn't take an action to, to to use a key point, uh, only to give a bonus action something like. Um, Does that prevent him moving? Blows. If he's stunned. No, no. Uh, oh, actually, that's yeah. a point. Does it? Son I of a bitch. So. Uh, uh, let me just check. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah hang on. Hang on. And I need he needs to make a wisdom saving throw anyway, but find out what it does. So that's nine yeah. force damage, yeah. It doesn't get any extra yes. damage on top of that, is it? Um, why is my brain not working? That's okay, I've got a calculator for that. Uh, stunned. A stunned creature is incapacitated, uh, can't move, and can, un can speak only falteringly. Creature automatically okay. fails strength and deck saves. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Okay, so it's a wisdom saving throw to avoid this, isn't it? Uh, con save. 18. Con save. Yeah, con unfortunately save it's con, so... Uh, well, apparently they're not great on con, so... Nat 20, sorry. 21. Um, <laughs> nat 20 for a 21. That could have been... He's only got a plus one to his con, so... But That's he moves... actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, these things are built in different ways, so... They're built yeah, yeah. different. Um, That's his go. Um, and at least... Uh, just, I think, in pure panic of seeing um, Liam in the room, uh, starts to um, cast a very big spell and sends a. I'm going to call Kelsey. I thought so. I was given enough time for it. Go for it. Um, what level? I want to use my sixth level. Uh, I guess I'll go fifth. Fifth. You're going to have to roll for it. Yeah, okay. So I think it's Arcana, isn't it? Or it's Arcana. Do I not just roll when it says cast? Do it not do it there? Isn't it? Isn't, uh, it, does uh, it, did the... isn't it D20 versus your cast? D20 plus your casting bonus? Spell casting that bonus. might be it. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what? I've forgotten. I, yeah, so you're, it's which a spell be, attack, basically. Which would be a... So, oh, counter spell. Sorry, I'm not sure that really works. That's, a... <laughs> That's all right. Uh, no, it didn't cast it. DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. So, yeah, but what do you... I think he adds his casting bonus, which is the same as his spell attack modifier. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ability using your spell attack, spell casting ability. So it's if just, you... just, well, just well deep. So it's okay. a. I'll just uh, try to find a way to roll that. But, uh... Um, if you oh, go it's just to, something, so yeah, it's something like a cantrip or whatever that has your normal spell attack. There you go. Uh, you just hit it, and you just save against this finger of death that was about to encircle pretty much everyone in that big old group. Um. Uh, and she is a fury. Listen. Oh, I wonder who's going to hit yeah, next yeah. time. Uh, just quickly, <laughs> the room is actually in daylight now. Does that make a difference? Oh, shit. Um, uh, not for that spell specifically, but it does mean there's a few things that... Hang on. i got to read this. The only thing is... Okay. It's only 30 foot of bright sunlight and then 30 foot of dark, dim sunlight. Yeah. So I mean, I'm actually out of range is... if, if it has. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's fine. Let's stick actually um, a token with the thing on it because I think it's important. Um... Or just stick an aura on. Because um, it's from. It's from Daryl, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. Is it? F oh, it's from you. That you. Yeah, it's, you there's a there's a bright mode in... of light in his head. I apologise. I thought it was you'd put it into the room. Okay, I will give you an aura. No, it's, me... it's literally a light in my uh, in my head. Gotcha, gotcha. So, what is? Oh, there it is. Um, what is the radius of this? Of this spell of the sunlight, thirty foot bright and thirty foot dim, so sixty I'll feet in total the, of daylight. I would just put thirty foot of because the dim doesn't matter too much. I don't think. I'll just put okay. Uh, no, I thought that. Uh, let's go. C, C, and then yeah, that's everyone in the fucking room, man. Um, wow. So, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to roll. Sorry, I'm going to might have to retcon something. I want to just make some attacks again. Someone at disadvantage. OK, yeah, at disadvantage. So the uh, does a 19 hit you, Tom? Just, yeah, meets beats. OK, so that would have hit anyway, that attack. Change the past. Um, Let's see. That nat 20, see. though, on uh, Andy wouldn't have been. Is he uh, okay. sensitive to sunlight? He, he is sensitive to sunlight. Oh, right. No, he's uh, not, no. but he's a specific kind of specific kind of creature yeah. that is sensitive to sunlight. 22 hits you, sure. um, but a 9, the 9 doesn't. So the, tw the nat 20 becomes the 22. And the nine becomes non-existent. So what I'll say is, I'm going to give you back that nat twenty um, damage hit points, which is fifty-two. Yep. Fifty-two. So gain fifty-two hit points back, and then the other hit hit. All right, that makes it nice and easy. Um, I am not apologies. I completely I forgot. That's yeah, right. yeah. No, 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 no. Um, um, I completely forgot about the sunlight. I think I would have. Maybe done things differently, but it doesn't matter. I will act on the Does next. Does it actually one. count as daylight though? It's yes. Sunlight, not, sunlight, yeah. Not, yes. not daylight. It is, it is yeah. sunlight. The spell uh, says it is sunlight. Yeah. That's yeah. Not daylight. But it, so, no, the it, wording it, on the it, thing yeah. is sunlight. Day, daylight, sunlight. Sorry, what's? Yeah. It's the same thing. So the light well, from, well, in the she's day, had her comes from the sun. Mm. Uh, comes from the big space lamp. Hadman. Hello. Hello. All right. As much as I appreciate you moving, Andy, he's not my target. Oh. So. He's also now out of that range anyway, so you can't do anything. I'll be charging over here. All right. As you get close, you take yep. 20 points of... Uh... Hang on. 
something damage. It's well, it's automatic. It doesn't get safe. Holy it, shit! It's automatic. It is automatic. It's fine. He's made of stone. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um. And now, because I didn't have it up, I'm not going to be able to find it. Is it a magical I effect? I. Uh, it is. Yes. Uh, well, so it's magical I'm, damage. I'm so resistant um, to it anyway. I think you're also resistant to radiant damage, aren't you? Yes, I am. So it then I'm becomes resistance. five damage. Immunity. You are five. <laughs> no, five points of radiant damage uh, to you, sir. Okay. Um, and and the flames seem to get a little bit less. All right. Let's. With my bonus action, I'm going to be casting ensnaring strike. Okay. Does it Apparently have to? It's. Uh, is it? Does it have to roll to hit, or is it just the DC? So it. No, it's um based on next time I hit within a minute, and then it kicks off, and vines will grow up from the target yep. I've struck. They then take a yep. the strength saving throw or become restrained, and then take piercing damage each turn. Fair enough. So go to you. Yeah, uh, you have to hit her, and then that comes into yep. effect. Okay. Uh, that hits her. Oh, I'm going to add a smite into that as well. Yep. So, oh, hang on. Let me get my calculator out again. Get it out. Um, so, it's, it's it's magical damage, so that's not reduced. I'm disappointed and... in you, Cadman. You could, have, you could yeah. have been part of Team Paladin and really annoyed Raffi by killing... Um... <laughs> killing a kid? Yeah. You, you proud of yourself? <laughs> I mean, he's, he's a vampire. Cabin, right? Say again? He's not a vampire. He's, he's not a vampire. He, he's the mirror Sorry. of me. I've got glowy arms. He's got shadowy arms. He's my mirror. Well, you can subdue him in a sec. <laughs> Um, you're going to do some... Um... I'm turning a level 2 smite. Yeah. Uh, so extra damage for the... That's... Yep, that's extra damage for the... Oh, Jesus Christ. She fails her strength save. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's... Is that three piercing damage that she takes now? That, no, she'll take that in her turn. On her turn. Okay, cool. And 17 points of radiant. All right. Um, from the smite. And then second smite. Uh, second attack. Second, a second attack, yep. That also hits. And oh. why not? I'll, I'm angry. I'll chuck <laughs> in another not? smite. Do a level three one oh, this time. my bad, guys. Go on then. Put your smite on. Okay. Oh, that should be an advantage as well. Now that <laughs> she's restrained. Uh, so just roll two d twenty, and if uh, well, one of them, if isn't any it? of them are twenties, then uh, it's not. Uh, it's only after the second attack. So it's... Oh yeah, is it? Oh uh, yeah, of course she yeah, failed her yeah. saving throw. You're absolutely correct. Yes. So yeah, made no difference. Cool. And she is thoroughly upset. Good. Um, <laughs> she is and I, mad. And I'll, say calm, I'll say calmly to her, I'm guessing you're the one affecting the circles. Um, she looks, um, I think, a little bit, I think for the first time of, like, um, this, she's keeping her eye on Liam. That's where her her like her fear is keeping her eyes on. And as you say that, she kind of looks at you and surprise on her face. Like, how did you oh, know yeah. that? Um, I still look like the um, where at kid oh, as yeah, well. Like, don't I? 
fucking wear rat kid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just layers. I'm a, layers I'm a to head this. Fuck. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, that guy is dead. Let's get rid of him. Um, and it's. Uh, is that your go, Cadman, by the way? Yep. That's all my actions done. Okie dokie. Raffy. Hi. You gotta make a bully corner. Let's <laughs> do the corner. Bullying this kid. Yeah. I have to move up close because even though I've got reach, I can't make the final ones. I don't know, he looks that bad. Fuck it, actually, you know what? Taking, he's te- been taking some big hits from hits that yeah. are doing a lot more damage than. Yeah. Um, fuck it, I've got a restorative ointment. Do you know what? I'm going to step up to there. I well, won't, yeah, step, step there. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to, I'm going to regret this. Uh, bonus action. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do. Uh, Gift of Akat. Yeah. Okay. I think you already had Gift of Akat up, just as a. Did I? You already had. Yeah. Last. Last. I should. I should have done some extra stuff. I don't think I did. Because. uh, because, um, Uh, It's only a one d six extra, isn't it? Yeah, but it's on each hit, and it's uh, necrotic. I don't think I. No, I didn't roll any necrotic damage. I don't think we've actually had your go yet, so. No, um, yeah, because we did the wisdom. Oh, I haven't actually attacked him yet. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, this, you don't this need to really move to round. get up close to him. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, so. Did I have it up then? Um, It is ticked off. I'm fairly well, sure I'm you said that... Gift of a Cat because I thought you were doing Gate to Shababa, which didn't make sense. And yes, then we that's right. Thingy yeah. Does. yeah. Okay. So I'm fairly sure you already have it up. So just don't worry about the rest of it for now and just do your okay. what you're gonna do now. Uh so two attacks. First one. Okay. And uh that does not hit, one. I'm afraid. That does 13. hit. Yeah, seven points force. Um so I'll put a stunning strike on the second one. One more. Um yeah, because he he then and... is going to uh, he, it's con save, isn't it? Because he would then come out of his stunned condition mm. on this go yeah. at the end of this go, isn't it? So these are with advantage because oh. he's stunned. He's not stunned. Sorry, it's he wasn't. No, he saved. Was say, no. Sorry. Yeah, he wasn't saved. So oh my he, brain. He now, yeah, he has to um, make a save now to see if he stuns. It's a DC 18 yep. con save. I'm just going to do D8 of radiant damage when I hit him now with the um, Spirit Shroud. So that's four points of radiant damage. Yep, hang on, sorry. Um, four points of radiant, was that? Yeah, yes. So seven points of force, four points of radiant. Uh, again, the radiant damage does seem to do more damage to him. Um, and sorry, I what am I doing? Oh, con save. Yes. Con save. Con save. Seventeen. Does that? Hails. He is now stunned. Hails. Okay, cool. he's now stunned. That means I'm going to step forward. Mm-hmm. Um, bonus action. Um, flurry blows. But mm-hmm. I'm going to use um, normal fists, not yep. um, the force punches. To do non-lethal okay. damage, yep. To so do gotcha. non-lethal, yep. yep. So, so, hang on. Weirdly, my fists count as magical for overcoming magical defences, can I so, switch the magical side stuff off? Um, I think in this case, it's it's like if it was a so all the damage that like uh, 
Kyle and Andy have been doing to the creatures are slashing, but it's counted as magical. It's not radiant by itself. It's just magical. I'd say that that you can do non-lethal with just plain. It's not going to reduce this damage, yeah. but obviously it's not like extra force damage, extra radiant damage, all of that yeah. stuff on top. So this yeah, is fine. Just... It won't be reduced. It will just be normal. As in so normal. Be, be magical, uh, magical bludgeoning damage, and then I'll have the uh, radiant on top with spirit shroud. So the radiant on top will, if that damage is below to, to zero, that's yeah. lethal damage. That yeah, that's, that's lethal. fine. That's, yeah, I'll take okay, that. go for it. Okay, go for it. So uh, with advantage, you say. Uh, yes, because he's stunned. Okay, yeah. Okay. So first one. Two lots of attacks. Yep. That's that hits. Eleven points of bludgeoning. I'll do the yep. D eight of radiant on that, and that's eight points of radiant. Okay. How's he looking? He's looking like that. Fuck! I'm going to have to do it again. Okay. And hope I don't do. It. Right, 28 hits for eight. Okay, and um, then four points of radiant. Okay. He's hanging on by a thread. Okay, that's cool. Um, oh. He's dying. Like, you start to see this, um, uh, the the shadowy presence that is inside of him sort of almost like fluttering heart trying really hard to stay formed um and it's it's starting to struggle now uh Ozzy himself is beaten and he's bloodied um he is just a bit of a mess just like he's never had a beating like this before um yeah. and occasionally this this grin um, is flickering, um, and you can almost see his terrified and chained expression flickering in between. He is starting to lose that this being is starting to lose its grip on Ozzy. Cool. Okay. Um, I'll actually say to Baron, This is mine. Fuck up that vampire. Okay. Um, a Daryl. Uh, Daryl will uh, get his character, will step forward. Mm -hmm. oh, no, need to come off the measurement tool. Will step forward. And his song in silver is now talking about sort of summer, summer rays. And uh, as he does that, he extends his left hand and a, another bright beam of, uh, of sunlight. Flashes towards really, the vampire. I'm really tempted to counterspell you. I'm so tempted. To do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna counterspell you, but I'm gonna do it at third level. So she's gonna have do to it. roll for it. I'm assuming. Um, you no, know you can counterspell the counterspell. Just it would use your reaction and, and it doesn't. You. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't count yeah, against yeah. the two the levels. Wizard battle. Let's go. Level. Let's go. So I'm gonna counterspell at third level. Um, uh, okay, I'll just go bear cast it, hadn't I? Really, yeah. Are you counting mm -hmm. the counter? Uh, or do you want to risk it with the counter spell she spent sensing out? It's up to you. Uh, yeah, I've got this, I've got this spell for 10 rounds, so uh, I assume. Yeah. Sorry, I do assume that if you counter spell it, does it take down the whole spell, or is it just yeah. this attack with it? Whole spell, uh. Oh, it's sorry. Is this part of the? Sorry, no, no, no. Is this? No, that's dispel magic. Is this part of your spell you've already cast? Yeah, this is sunbeam. It's it's the one I cast last round. I ignore me. Um, um, she can't counterspell that because it's already a pre-existing spell. You're not casting it again. You're using its ability. So, um, yeah. She can't counterspell uh, unless she gets up close and dispels you. So uh, ignore that. Right. She doesn't do that. Uh, do what you're going to do. She's, uh, well, she's got to make a DC 18 con save with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Uh, that is a 14. Uh, it's not enough, I'm afraid. So it's nope, 24. 
Right. Radiant damage. 24 radiant damage. Um, weirdly, vampires are not, uh, do not take extra damage from radiant. Um, I mean, if he was going to steal my kill, I'm willing to offer my um, ward to protect her. She's my kill. <laughs> For real, guys? For real? <laughs> okay. Getting real possessive of the monsters on the board right now. Um, she's, now she's now in bright sunlight as well. She's now in bright sunlight. I'm not going to bother putting a radiant order on that. She's in bright sunlight. Um, and she hates this. She hates life. Um, so, yeah. Uh, is that your go? Is that everything? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm saying there to keep her in the bright sunlight. All right. Uh, it is now Jade's go. Um, Jade's going to... Oh, brother. Okay. Sorry, Jade, I thought her name was Tay. Uh, what did I say? Oh, Jade, yeah. Her, Jade. her name is Tay. I keep... Because I named her on there as Jade Taylor. So it's just really annoying that I did this to myself. I apologise. Um, so. Sorry. Um. Sorry, she's got a little bit more stuff than everyone else. Um. She's going to go over to Ozzy. She's beelining for him. Um, and she just takes swings at him. And she takes this with advantage. Because she can. Barrier of flows. Barrier. Of... Nope, just our arm strike. What am I doing? Uh, they both hit. And he is down in the first hit. She just uh, she just runs up and clocks him, um, and he goes down. Kill still. Kill. Kill. What's this doing? Uh, you'll have to find out. Um, he he falls to the ground. I'm gonna I'm just gonna. This doesn't indicate anything, honest gov. Um, but I'm gonna have to put a little thing on his icon. Sorry, it's really annoying that he did that. Okay, put him back. Um, he's down on the ground. Um, and uh, I think she's just going to stand over him uh, for a second because she's only used one of her hits. Uh, uh, kind of just looking around. Um, oh, in. And there's not actually much else she can do. I think that's it. Monks, man. One hit wonders. Finish him. Yeah. Finish him. I mean, she's got three more <laughs> hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fucking do it. Fail six. I'll that's do six. it. Failed so death saving um, throws. If you hit with all on. She, if if she knew that she would survive at the end, um, but she won't. So she's just going to stand there, uh, looking between you guys, sort of like, what the fuck? Um, it is now. Stuff happening in this room, Hendrix. Um, actually, oh no. Okay. Uh, all these kids start sort of gathering into this corner. Um, oh. uh, no. What are you doing? Um, and this guy comes into probably about there. Um, no, he, he doesn't. He gets up close to this one. And uh, he starts, like, uh, shoving them around uh, to sort of get ready, like, putting on coats and what, like, grabbing things that they have 
um, and starts telling them that they need to follow what he's doing um, uh, or he'll kill them. Um, and they're going to head over to the other hideout um, uh, and to be quick. And he keeps snapping his finger at them. Um, I know it's technically out of your turn, uh, though your turn's straight afterwards. Um, mm -hmm. I want you to make me an insight check. Oh. Uh, here come the ones. Here do, comes do, the do. ones. I've already rolled a one, so. Lol. Do, 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 do. Uh, that's respectable. It's not popped up yet. We're going to have to wait a little bit. Anyone want some tea? Mm hmm. There you go. It's not bad. Um, yeah. As he is yelling at all these kids, um, you can see the youngest one here mm -hmm. is, um, he, he looks quite young, sort of little pale ginger boy. Um, he's all bundled up in a coat and, uh, he's got sort of tear streaks down his face. Every time this guy sort of like he's shouting the sort of or not shouting because he doesn't want to be overheard um but sort of like giving them instructions every time he turns away uh the little kid's face changes ever so slightly to one of contempt and certainly not one of that of a very scared kid okay um there Ah, shit. <laughs> Baron, it is your go. Your, your, your microphone mic is up on... Sorry. Your microphone's here. Sorry, sorry, apologies. So, unfortunately, Tay has stolen my line. Because ah. I was going to say to... Um, point out to Rafi that he has too weak a mind to be trusted for me to leave it. And then I was going to... Ah. But I was going to punch oh. rather than hit with my sword. But, um... Ah. Or, yeah... Um, line. But um but she's put him down. Um uh I don't think there's much I can do because um um Sorry, oh, no, that's a concentration sort of that. I've got too many concentration spells. Um, All the concentration spells. Yeah. All the best ones are. Yes, yes, I've noticed that. Um, right. I... In Paladins, yo, hard choices on those spells. Right, I'm just going to move. Yep. Um, oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't actually get into melee with this woman. So what I'm going to do is two, nice. three, four, five. To see through here a bit more, but I'll go All right. six there to maximize the angle. Um, yep. Just to see what's going on there. Okay. Right. Um, so you can you can see what you can see. If you need any no, that's clarification fine. or anything, let me know. That's fine. And because um, I can charge and engage in next round. Okay. Yep. Is that is that everything? Uh, yeah, because I've, I've I've used my uh, action to move as well. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Uh, all right, Hendrix. Um, you are seeing this scene unfold uh, uh, in front of you. You think you have to the end of this round before they see you. No matter what your stealth check is, you are right in the doorway now. It's only because yeah. you you were shrouded in darkness um, and the guy was standing there that kind of hid you. Um, but now, if any of these people pay attention, they will see you. Um, so, uh, yeah, what what do you want to do? Okay. So, little kid, also a vampire. Then we're, I'm assuming, little pale kid. 
Seems quite likely. I feel. You can make that assumption, yes. Uh, evil that is the ginger vampire. <laughs> okay. All all gingers are evil. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Am I lying? <laughs> yeah. You... Shut mm. up, Sith. Right, right. Um, can I use my mental connection to yeah. just let everyone know um, that I've got some of the the kids around here and potentially a couple of vampires. Um, so it's kind of in a in a kind yeah. of a pleading way, like oh, and yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I will uh, make an attack against the guy who's bullying. Then let's see what little ginger kid does. Right. Clearly, he's the more powerful of the two. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. How do I do that? Fuck on. Do, 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 do. There we go. I'll press that button there. Oh, bloody hell, that's a lot. <laughs> Wait, I think I did the damage without doing the, the thing. Let me um, try. I mean, uh, yeah, no, you're going to have to roll to for that damage. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. 20 that's fair. hits. Um, you could keep that damage if you like, because it, 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 it certainly hits. Sure. Um, Let's do that. So the, uh, at this guy, yeah? Yeah. Um, so you come out from being hidden. Um, and uh, the spectral uh, wolf claws strike it from behind, um, mm -hmm. and he takes. Why won't it? I'm quite upset. Uh, for your sneak attack as well, obviously. It's all done in there. Um, yep. He would no need to keep silent now. He screams out in pain, uh, sort of trying to grab the back of his head as these big wounds open up um, and blood starts dripping down. Uh, the kids go into like a panic frenzy, sort of trying to climb over each other to get further into the corner. Um, um, and uh, you can make, I believe, a bonus. Can I shout out your... quick kids running out the door? <laughs> Make a yeah. persuasion check with disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's not going to happen. Talking no. dog just told them to flee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Fly, oh, you oh. fools. <laughs> uh, You're right. It was worth a try. Oh, persuasion. Oh, there you go. Um. Yeah, they're like they. I don't think they even hear you. They're they're now no, screaming. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And they're like moving. What's moving Ginger around. Kid do? What's his reaction? Uh, he seems to be acting like all the other kids. He's he's screaming yeah. and, and sort of like trying to get away. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um. Uh. I believe you have a bonus action that you can do. Um, I do. I'll let you. Can I hide? <laughs> I'm going to say, unless you move out of the room, you can't hide in here. No. Unless okay. you have some sort of magical way of hiding yourself. No. Uh, or do I? I, 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 I suppose, actually, if you go further into the room, you can attempt to hide under one of these beds or around some of the bundled up bits of cloth and things like that. Um, you can try and misdirect them and hide. Um, I'd say more so this way just to be away yeah. as it were. yep go for it let's do that man. If, if you move your token and then roll me a stealth check okay this way you reckon yeah yep okay so, any I'd of these that, sort of bed areas roll me a stealth check just so see whether or not they see where you went 
Uh, 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 uh. It's like I can move more, can't I? Cause I've got you can, movement. yeah, yeah. You've got plenty of movement, so. Uh, so you could pretty so. much be anywhere in this room, to be honest. I'd say maybe not directly. Can I do the hide, like, at the point when I go and disappear under the beds and then he doesn't know whereabouts in the room I and end then up? That, yeah, that's, yeah, that's sort of, sort of given. So do, given. Do I, I just move to where I'm going to do and then do the dice roll? Yes, please. I'm going to hide over there. Uh, oh. And uh, do my hidey roll. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. Does it, is, shouldn't it automatically default to a 10 or something? Oh, it has. <laughs> okay. That's good. I can't roll a one on that. Uh, somehow it's given you a nat one twenty four roll. I know. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I because I can't. It has it automatically changed it to a ten because I can't. Yeah, because it could. Yeah, so it is. It's still twenty four. It's twenty four. It's twenty four. Um, so you are as hidden as you believe you are against these things. Yeah. Okay, Liam. This Daryl spell is actual sunlight, isn't it? It is. Yeah. So how yes, does yeah. that how does that affect her mist form? Do I, will it stop? Um, so her... her mist. It should actually stop her mist form. Hang on, let me just uh, just make sure you get a. Da, 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 da. Providing it's not in sunlight or running water, yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. So, so, so if you kill her, give it, yeah. I'm going to move close anyway, just in case. Yep. Um, uh, <laughs> but I, I can't. No, you're all right. Yeah, that's as far as I can get with and still be able to attack her. Um, yep. So I'm going to drop a hunter's mark this round. Okay. Because um, they stack, but you have to do it that way around. Um, yeah. And I'm going to shoot her twice. Shoot her. Uh, yeah. Do it. Uh, Twenty-one hits. So mm -hmm. that's. Uh, I'll do both uh, things, and then I'll shoot her again. Uh, do on. you want to do the longbow damage? Because you've just rolled the 2d6. Oh, I didn't so you haven't do, done the oh, longbow okay. damage. This might do the second roll. I don't know. It's, uh, yeah, 13. Yeah, so that's, that's right. the okay, first so hit. 13 plus 9. Okay. 22 with the first hit, yeah. Okay. You have advantage. Uh, oh, I forgot that. Well, no strained. It doesn't matter okay. too much, too much, does it? Because the second roll's a crit. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Just roll your damage. She, she's on a thread right now, so. And this is going to be a crit plus the extra d6 is also critted from the hunter's mark. So that's another seventeen thirty-four. Is it? Yeah, she's she's down to zero. She is unconscious. She is dying. Um. She, uh, uh, her body hits the floor. Um, she actually had a book in her hands, which she was reading from, um, uh, casting her spells, it seems, but also, uh, she had apparently been using it to recite, um, some kind of language to keep this gate open. Um, and as she drops, so too does the surrounding spell. Um, kind of fizzles out. Um, where's my thingy? As she drops to the floor, she starts to immediately um, disintegrate. Her body starts to go that kind of grey ash, and then it almost looks like cigarette ash. Uh, it's just sort of like bits of falling off. It's kind of only kept in shape um, very, very loosely. You think that if you were to walk over and put your hand, I, like 
on it it would just completely disintegrate uh there is no mist form that escapes from this um as the daylight spell fizzles up any sort of essence from the vampire um and she's she dead dead cool um is there anything else you want to do there's nothing else i can do i've used up my my action and my move action i've got no bonus actions that i can use I- not well, sure. I have got bonus That's sessions, fair. but the bonus sessions are slow as prey normally. Yeah. Uh, I can uh, and I think you actually bonus already, actions yeah. to turn invisible if I wanted to. But... <laughs> turn invisible for no reason whatsoever. For no reason I think as well, all, you yeah. just used your um, bonus action just to put the hunter's mark on her, I think. I did. Yeah, um, you're right. Yeah, uh, so. Yes. Yes, yes, I did. You're right. Absolutely right. Um, it is Aussie's go. I need another sheet. <laughs> oh no, no, I don't. I just need dice. Aussie's transforms phase cool. two. Yeah, Aussie's going to reappear. I think Aussie's not dead. Um, Aussie's dead, but uh, the, yeah. but the but the but the but the but the afrit isn't. Yeah. Um, Rafi got to make his magnanimous gesture though, well, trying to save him. So the. Uh, Raffi, roll me a perception check. Okay. Just love your Perception. comment, your Perception. comment, Andy. He, for you, yeah. got that off. That would have been hilarious. Um. Yeah, you just as you're you're very sort of like worried about Ozzy. Um. You can see he's very hurt. He's probably going to die if you don't do something. Uh, soon. Um, so he's essentially on death saving throws right now. Um, but there is this smoky wispiness that's underneath his body. It's he's almost using his body as a shelter at the moment from this bright light that's in the room and it can't seem to go anywhere. Um, it's, it's like trying to feel out little spectral like little uh, wisps of tentacles trying to feel around the space to see a, somewhere some faded part that it can flurry a, a way into uh, not dissimilar I suppose to a, a vampire's mist escape um, but it's it's yeah there's something underneath his body okay um, oh wait actually oh that's a point stay there Roll. Choose highs or lows. High. High. Okay. All right. Um. Now I would like you to roll me a DC fifteen charisma saving throw. Charisma save. Mm-hmm. Um, am I near it? I'm not near it. Oh, he's fucking possessed again. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah. I blame Andy. He walked away from him. Yeah, it's all bad. Even told yeah. him he's too weak willed. Yeah. And then, and then, and then yeah. left him. And then left him. Yeah. Yeah, it's all Baron's fault. <laughs> I mean, I, I even took my bonus aura away from him. Oh, exactly. that's what I mean. Uh, this yeah, is amazing. Because, yeah, okay. Because of that aura, I'm going to die or be possessed. Cool, cool, cool. Um, at the moment, I have control of Rafi. Um, cool. Hendrix, you lose contact psychically with Rafi. Okay. Right. Alas, poor um, Rafi. Alas, poor Rafi. She's dead. She can go. Cadman, it's your go. Um, seems like everything in the room, <laughs> it's, it's, it's all fine. Everything's fine. What do you want to do? Uh, there's a door over here. Ah, it's locked. There is. Can, uh, sorry, I can. Can I ask what's uh, happened? Oh no, that would be locked still. Um, uh, you could ask what happens, but uh, on people's turns they can respond. So, okay. If you ask what happens, Cadman, on your go, you can respond if you wish. What's happened to Raffi? He's disappeared. I'll turn around. He's still there. 
right? That's all you get at the moment because obviously we're out of. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're still in initiative because of the the other room. Um, Rafi's um, ancestral uh, eagle head gear and everything, though, does drop. All of that spectral the radiance. Spirit, stuff. The spirit shrouds. Spirit shrouds. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say a that drops. Spell. Okay. Yeah, that drops. Oh, yell over to Does your friend need healing? Um, no. Rafi looks down at the body um, and says. No, 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 it's all right. I got this. I'm going to try and break the door in then. Okay. Um, roll me a athletics check or strength save. That's uh, strength check if you don't have athletics. Mm. Just roll me athletics. Yeah, this door... It's not one of the outer doors. Uh, it breaks apart. Um, it's it is a a metal door, but like in one of those thick wood with metal parts on it, uh, almost like a fire door type thing. And you kick it. Um, and I'd say that it's the sort of a little bit difficult to get open, but because it's a double door, it, it's in, wide enough certainly for you to um to get through. So I'm just going to open it up. There you go. I don't see anyone. I'll yell back. That'll probably be the end of my turn. I've probably said a lot. End of your turn. It is Rafi's go. Rafi looks to Tay um, and says, I think that's it. Um, I need to get him. I need to get him fixed up. Can you carry him? And then uh, he's he uh, he goes. Sorry, Tom. In the backseat driving your own no, character. No, no. Here. I just have I just have a thought. Absolutely fine. Oh, mm -hmm. One second. Would I have made that save with advantage? Because I mean, the sunlight. Or not? I don't think it works like that. No. Okay. Absolutely fine. Not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm grasping at straws here. No, no, no. Absolutely. Trying to bamboozle. <laughs> Try to bamboozle. Oh, I, I'm okay. Des I will grasping. say. My move is 50. Okay. He. Uh, as, should, as Tay should be as well. He. Um, I'm going to say, roll me. Now we're on your tur turn, actually. Can you roll me another now wisdom saving throw? Wisdom saving throw. Yes, not charisma, wisdom. Oh, oh, you bitch, you dropped my spells. Yes. That means I'm I don't sorry. get the advantage. No. No, not wisdom. one. No. Um, sorry, sorry, Hansa. Yeah. You, In... was, that, was that rolled before Rafi moves? Or when he moves? No. Before? No, before he moves. Okay. Because he needs it before he moves. Well, he doesn't need it, but it was definitely something he would certainly yeah, yeah. want to do before he moves. Um, you feel the presence of this ancient, oppressive being inside your mind. Um, you, you're you in almost like your own mind palace. Um, you're standing in a vast, um, blackened room that seems to go on forever. Um, and somewhere in this room is a presence that's like stalking you, like a wild animal, um, but it's intelligent. And as you twist and turn trying to find a way to get out of this room, um, you feel the shadows of this thing just creeping up from behind you, completely taking over your senses. Um, memories start to flash on bidden by you from your memories the faces of your friends and their names are popping into your head um as Fuck. this thing is trying to read information to use uh a, to try and blend in okay yeah um 
he then goes. I'm just. Uh, how how far can you move, Rafi? Fifty. 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 I'm gonna say he moves to. He's gonna move down to here. Um, and as he goes, he says, "Baron uh, Cadman, if you check that way, yeah, go for it." Is this is this isn't a charm or a fright event, is it? Calmed or frightened? Hang on, let me look at the stats. Is it is it charm? Obviously, frightened wouldn't work, but is it charm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you immune to charmed or frightened? You can't because no, I'm not it's been immune. charmed before. No, I'm not immune. I can use an action to get rid of it. With stillness okay. of mind. I will say, during that moment when you're in that room, you may make another wisdom save, a, a charisma save, to try and be unpossessed as he's moving. Charisma, a charisma. okay. Charisma saving throw. Uh, whatever this gives you, go for it. 18. As Rafi is moving across this room, he gets to, I think, about there. Um, and he's saying, Baron Cadman, go through that way. I'm going to go through this way, make sure nothing else is coming. Or and just smoke starts billowing out of his mouth. Um, and it starts like sizzling up in the daylight uh, that's right next to Daryl. Um, and it's coming out of his eyes and his ears, and it's just drooping down um, to, straight to the floor, but, like, finding that there's nowhere to go. Um, this is for purposes of, I don't have a token for it, but essentially something that can potentially either be con attacked or contained. Um, I will, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Ozzy's thing. body. What, um, what have you got into the body behind me, the vampire body behind me? And no, because it's not alive. Yeah. Uh, it's not alive. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's not. It's not like a undead thing. It's right. something else. Um, anyway, so uh, that happens on Rafi's go. Rafi, you are free of thing, but you have lost your. T yeah, 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 absolutely yeah. fine. <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> This thing happens next to Rafi. <laughs> and it's like a pool of smoky and it's just wisping, trying to get away desperately. Right, well, I'm going to do what I was thought before I decided what I was going to do before that happens. I'm going to send okay. uh, um, Remy back around the way we came. Back the way you came. Yep, yeah, absolutely fine. Uh, just to see if you can find out what Hendrix is going on about. Uh, so, so that, close to getting away. That's 80, and I've got another 40 to go there. Because he's double moving. Yep. So it's up there. Okay. All right. And then uh, he'll turn towards this black smoking form and hit him again with another sunbeam. Uh, is it a attack hit or is it to a saving throw? It's a it's a saving throw. What what's the saving throw? It'll be eight DC eighteen. Hold up, if I go back up, it should be there somewhere. Uh, Constitution. Constitution. He makes a disadvantage. Uh, Fourteen completely fails. Don't need to roll damage. Oops. It disintegrates. Right. Um, the the beam goes through it. It's radiant damage. It just destroys it. There's nothing left of this form. There's not even like. I'm just gonna put Ozzy's body back. Sorry, Ozzy. Um. Uh, like there's nothing left. Not not a single sign that anything was there. Um. Yeah. Um. I'll go. I can say to Ozzy, man, you get, need to get a grip. Anyone comes along, they take charge. What's going on? You mean Raffy? Sorry, that's Raffy. Yeah. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh. Um, Note to self, all charm effects on Raffy. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you just stay off Paladin on. from now on. Not to stop running off. Avoiding it. Stay by Paladin at all times. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to Everyone buddy go up around this way. I've yep. actually got 40 foot of movement, which I didn't realise. So you... Hendrix has given you guys the visual map marker, as it were, as to where he is. So yeah. it's, it's easy enough to figure out the configuration of this underground building enough to get to him. All right. Okay. Is that your guy? me. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Um, <laughs> so he, at this point, has turned, picked up Ozzy onto her shoulder, turned back, seen this horrible <laughs> um, a vision of something and is just like, what the fuck? Um, and she's just gonna, I, I don't have anything for her to do right now, so she's just gonna, I'd say, move down to over here just to kind of keep up with everyone. Um, she looks to Raffi and goes, dude, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> Aaron. <laughs> Well, yes, again, so I, sorry, I had a great Tom. plan for something, but this time Daryl's preempted me. I was going to try banishing oh. it, but anyway. Um, uh, right. Um, I can't see in the dark, so I need to stick with the man who's emitting daylight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so. Um, uh, I don't know if there is. I mean, your token, what you can see is what you can see. If there's any light sources that I've put down in there, you'll be able to see it. Like it would, yeah. Right, this door's open, isn't it? So I'm just going to go. Oh, sorry. Move him. I'll come through here. Two, three. Is that actually? Is that actually a wall? Right. Is that a wall there to my right? Have I given you? Hang on. Yeah, I've given you vision because there is light in here. There's a light source. I think it's this one. Okay, but sorry, but just the, the um the. Is, is that actually a wall there to my right? Yes, yeah. that is a wall. Yeah. So it's a bit, it's a bit crooked here, and I wasn't sure what was going on. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I have, my dynamic right. lighting's a bit balls. Three, four, five, six, and then I'm just going to move um, one, two, three, four, five, six to join down. Okay. Um, perfect, Hendrix. Um, you attacked this guy, then disappeared. He's flailing yep. around with blood dripping down the back of his head. Um, I'm lucky he didn't even is... see me. Uh, but I'm not lucky. Yeah. lucky. I think the rest of these kids are all going to huddle themselves up over here. Uh, he's going to come here and do an active search just to try and find you. He fails. <laughs> rather unsurprisingly. Um, it just seems to be like standing there kind of in shock, um, but he's now looking towards the door. In fact, he's going to make start making his way towards the door. Um, I'm going to give him his full movement, actually, and he starts to close it. Uh, he doesn't have an action to lock it yet, so you have some time. It is your go. Uh, right. He's going to go and lock the door. Uh, yeah, he's locked. Do I, do he's, I want him on that side looks, of the door? I probably do, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I could just pick it again afterwards. <laughs> do you know what? I'm just going to hold my action. Um, okay. Yep, for, that's perfectly for any, valid. Any threat to me or the the kids, Make which includes know. coming from Ginger Kid. <laughs> that's absolutely fair. Liam, I'm gonna head off down where they're they're all going. Uh... Oh my, my headset's dying. Hang on. That's it. I missed any of that. Sorry, what was that? I, I'm just 
a double move to down. Cool. Heading uh, towards where we think we left. All right. End of Hendrix, where, um, I think, where there's more vampires, apparently. Potentially. Um, another round. Where's the dice gone? Oh, there it is. Okay. Cadman? Oh. So did I see Raffi do this weirdness? Yes. <laughs> yes, anybody in the room could have seen it. It was not subtle. <laughs> Rafi's still hurt. He's like <laughs> gagging. I'll move up to him to sort of supervise or well, babysit him because <laughs> he seems to be oh. getting possessed a lot lately. <laughs> Needs a bit of protection. Um, yeah. You know, protection from evil and good will also do the trick of just saying. <laughs> Wasting a spell. <laughs> wow. Wow. Really. Thank okay. you. Cool. I've got vampires to smite. <laughs> All right. Is that is that your go? Can you say uh, anything? Yeah, You're doing it's... anything? Or just... Yeah. Uh. Raffy. Oh no, go. On. I, was... oh, I can't think of what to do at the minute. I'm looking at seeing what other things I can do. So yeah, I'll pass my turn. You can hold an action if anything happens, like defensively if you want. Or or just pass on. Um Rafi. This thing is now out of you. Um, the force behind this thing was so overwhelming. Um, yeah, there's no surprise at all that Ozzy had no control over his actions. Yeah. Uh, but um, Ozzy is currently on over Tay's shoulder, making death saves. Yeah, uh, that's that's fine. Um, I'm literally going to um, pull out a uh, jar of ointment mm -hmm. um, and a slap on a load of um, goo all over him. It's yeah. Yes, restorative ointment. Yeah, um, just a little bit of pseudocreme, it'll be fine. Exactly. Cool. You know, it's like Tiger Barb. Um, I can, it's Tiger one Barb. dose. Germaline. Um, yeah. Uh, germaline! <laughs> yes. So it's it's uh, magical germaline. Uh, roll thought, for your magical germaline, you weirdo. I thought he was going to wax his hair or something. Oh. Okay. Lay right. Oh, wax, wax his own hair. 11, 11 points of healing uh, to oh, shit. Aussie. Um, hang on, i got to change his token slightly. <laughs> um, and... Sorry. Or, or um, then I'm just gonna gonna um reach in my back pocket. Yeah, eleven. Reach in my back okay. pocket and give uh Tay you back give. the the knuckle dusters. Um uh she looks at you kind of um a little bit like so first of all, Ozzy gasps awake yeah. um you see immediately even with this small amount of healing uh now that he it's just him again um he doesn't have that many hit points so he's almost up to he's he's halfway yeah. field a lot of yeah. these cuts and bruises start to the bruising kind of still remains it's like fast forwarding it um yeah. he stops being in a critical condition but there's definitely still going to be a lot of scarring um and uh you don't think that his nose is ever going to look straight again that sort of thing he's got a split yeah. on his eyebrow that's now knitted itself a little bit crooked um uh he kind of uh sort of taking stock of his surroundings um tay 
puts him down and kind of steadies him to a standing position. Uh, and he's like just looking agog um, at you. Uh, it, it seems he just he's in a bit of shock. Um, yeah. Tay looks to the kid like Ozzy and then to you sees the knuckle dusters and she goes bloody hell you had those the whole time that's all she's going to say for the moment yeah and then I'm just going to say in case I in case I get fucked over again fuck me up and give her the knuckle dusters she takes them she she, she chuckles and she takes them um yeah that's me cool that's what I'm doing Yep, fair enough. Do you want to move over so that this exchange could have happened not yeah. 20 feet away from each other? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Daryl. Daryl's going to move down this corridor. Yep. So we can see, which is probably not enough. No, we're typical. Quite a big um, uh, thingy. Big map. Uh, is, that, and then, is that your full movement that's, or just no, that's, that's my full that's just movement I haven't, I'm oh, going to actually yeah. step forward though two uh, steps see what I can see yep. Um, yep, just back, back where you started basically yeah There's okay um, okay and then I'm going to get Remy to come around the corner as well Actually, yes. uh, he's got 120 feet. He can get back to me anyway. Yeah, uh, he can technically fly through this open door if he comes around. Um, because the door, the door is open, but that's only if you want him to. You don't have to. No, uh, <laughs> I'm just calling back to me at the moment. Let's re uh, kill your what... familiar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, that's cool. me. All right, Jade's turn. Um, She's taken these knuckle dusters. She goes, well, unless I've got time to rest, these are kind of just a bit basic at the moment. I'll show you how they work later. She clinks them together. Um, she go, uh, she turns to Ozzy and she poke, she sort of points a finger right in his face and she goes, me and you got a fucking chat later. Move it. Um, and starts moving the, the pair of them. And he's sort of like still walking in a bit of a daze and they're going to yeah. move... Over this way. I'm going to have them slowly follow you guys down. Um, so. I'm going to go any faster than the lead characters here at the moment. Uh, so like uh, Liam, Daryl and, and Beren. I'm not going to have her go b before you. Um, so she'll walk at that pace. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. This guy closes the door, locks it, and starts booking it. Oh, what guy's it? Uh, it's something in the room we can't see. Yeah, right, you can't okay. see. And uh, I don't think anyone can see, actually, from where he is. No. Um, so about it two three five six typically uh daryl you see coming out of this doorway it's a young teen and his movement will get him to there so with his double movement i don't know if did you he, can even see did that. he seem to flinch when he came into the sunlight Oh shit, the sunlight, fuck. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ian. <laughs> yes, he does seem to flinch. It's the ultimate uh, anti vampire spell. Uh, uh, and he's just uh he's just headed towards this door. Yeah. Uh Baron. Oh sorry, no, in that room. Apologies, Hendrix. Uh to be honest, they are they're all huddled together. Um you see the young ginger kid, this one, turn to the slightly older kid and sort of like tug on his arm and whisper something in his ear. Um, and the kid 
nods and then goes over to the door and then starts trying to open it. Um, not getting very far at all. And that's all okay. you see. Baron. Right. Um... Daryl, did Daryl give any warning about that, seeing that person across the... I don't know. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I didn't... Well, I didn't. <laughs> I probably would have done if I'd thought about it, but I didn't. Okay, you didn't then, right. Um, right. I'm going to go to there, which is my six, and I'm then going to heal myself... 38 points of damage with a um, with a uh, with your lay on hands yeah. yep that's fair oh has it gone 11 ah oh, beans well we'll stop at Beren again let's do Beren's go and then stop at Hendrix that's me, fi- <laughs> me finished alright then okay uh, sorry thanks Kyle I didn't realise the time so things are happening no um we're getting round to the just the end of this area, um, and we'll come out of obviously once you've dealt with it, come out of initiative to deal with whatever's in here. Um, so join us next week to find out what happens. Oh, uh, we'll need a much. full Anakin Skywalker on a load of vampire ch- children. <laughs> Raffi gets possessed <laughs> again. <laughs> possessed, oh. charmed, something. <laughs> oh. This is my favourite trope with Raffi now. So, uh, anyway, yeah. thank you very much, and we'll see you next week. Bye, bye, bye. 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 bye, bye.